so yeah, if you do that on a regular basis, uh, streaming or doing a live panel for essentially 45 minutes because they want you to finish and it takes a couple of minutes to get started and it's not a true hour, it's about 45 minutes of real time. It, uh, yeah, it can feel very short. So those two things conspired to kind of throw me off a little bit. But uh, I, I mean, I still had a good time. It just, I don't know if it was my best panel. And uh, I'm like, why is that? And I think it's because usually at like San Diego, uh, you know, I, I have interviews and I have uh, panels, but, um, and those go all day long. But again, the pa the interviews... You know, they're asking more complex questions. You're having longer interactions. You're, the part of the brain that comes up with complex answers and thoughts uh, is pretty engaged as much as you're kind of working off sharing a lot of the same information you're still kind of doing in a multitude of ways. Um, with meet and greets, you know, um, it's just a more limited... Because what is it about spoilers? Well, it sets up expectations or it ruins expectations that you're basically creating the expectation that it's a bad movie or if it's really like, oh, it's awesome. It's this expectation that I should like it too. And uh, it um, creates a prejudgment uh, that can ruin sort of the awe and discovery of an amazing motion picture. You go like, oh, this is great. It's getting even better. And da, 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 da. Anyway, and I thought someone would ask about it actually at my panel so I could kind of riff off of it in front of a live audience, but no one did, and I didn't bring it up. Well, to Friday night, um, my wife and I and Lucas were guests of Rob, Rob Liefeld and his wife. Uh, Rob was hosting a bunch of screenings at a local movie theater. Uh, the, you know, uh, like myself, a former image founder, comic book artist, creator. He's got a lot going on in his career. And uh, so, yeah, uh, and my review is, you know, next to Rob was really cool, too, because he kind of, and uh, so I got all sorts of little bits of, of trivia and behind-the-scenes info, which was really cool. But let me just say one thing about Rob, and, uh, you know, he gets, you know, he, he um, he's, he's been through a lot in his long story career, and uh, all I can say is, if you don't like a creator's work, more power to you. That's your right. And and that could be anyone. That could be my work. That could be, uh, you know, um, anyone, any other creator's work. I mean, that's, we all have our favorites, likes his family to see that, you know, that level of success and acceptance. And it's pretty cool. And uh, so all I say is, it's odd to me that people bag on any other comic book professional or movies, uh, you know, publishing is a challenge business in and of itself. We all recognize that uh, comics are sort of the, the source material for all these great games and movies and TV shows. Um, so we should be so uh, supportive, honestly, and thankful and appreciative that, that members of our community are finding success uh, beyond our, our sort of limited business. And uh, with, the, with the hopes and belief that others can achieve the same. So, um, yeah, that's my two cents. So anyway, the movie was, uh, spoiler alert, you can mute your mic now. There'll, there'll be no real spoilers, but I'll tell you what I thought. If I think I've already done it, <laughs> which is, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, if you love the first one, you'll love the second one. And um, I thought Domino really, I mean, Josh Brolin looked yoked and um um but i thought domino especially which was a character that didn't really resonate for me you know as a reader um really i thought just you know the actor that that, that played her the way they portrayed the powers and kind of goofed on at the same time which is you know always a conversation it's exactly the same conversation we had as creators with our editors like oh I, I, you know can we add a physical represent sort of physical element to these powers so that they have something they can throw or hold or smack? I mean, is you know, so how do you draw luck? You know, how do you draw that power? Anyway, so I thought it was funny that they basically acknowledged that. It's no, it's the Avatar ride, dude. Oh my God, please, please. All right, someone told me. Um, 
that I had breakfast with someone on uh, the other day, and he was kind of giving me some suggestions of what to do at the park because I hadn't been here in about three years. But the the new Avatar ride, he's like, it's worth the price of admission, and he was right. That was amazing, uh, and it made me uh, wish to live long enough to the point where. Um, Give me the blow by blow on stream. It's it's hard. It's going it's going quickly tonight. Did you watch Call Me by Your Name? Call Me by Your Name? Yeah. I did not. My wife's not really into um, horror movies. Um. And so I don't see a lot of those. I'm fine with it. Um, but she's you know finds movies like um, Deadpool to be very like crazy scary <laughs> she like jumps out of her chair um anyway so yeah I'm trying to think way you can prove that we are not in the simulation and if you think about it i think we are how could you prove me wrong you know? Uh, part of the theme park that's going to open up next summer. I know nothing about the park other than literally I found out today that it's going to open next summer. I'm like, okay, I'm ready for, you know, uh, whatever VR experience they have there. CD, but there are certain things I do... Um, probably overthink and one of them is is is, is germ yeah somehow i think like germs can like jump through and do that kind of stuff and it doesn't help when they keep putting out all these articles about those um hand blower things right yeah. it's just look humans are gross particularly men <laughs> it, it it's so disappointing to me i'm just doing it because i'm bored, I'm bored. that's a mere exercise that I'm so responsible. Uh, I might have a resting face of of, uh, of boredom and uh, 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 I don't even know the word I'm looking for. Inarticulateness. <laughs> but I'm jumping for joy inside as I put each line down and I basically create form out of Mere paper and pen that delight your conceptual centers and create the illusion of figures, huh? That bring life to a man while I'm drawing. Uh, you gotta go like, yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, crispy. You know what to do. <laughs> Sometimes the the right decision and the easy dis no, the right decision and the hard decision are the same. Isn't that a song? Anyway, okay, so, all right, I'm going to draw this, but uh, meanwhile, we're going to talk about what else I'm going to draw. Uh, this is just like kind of a warm-up, uh, just kind of drawing, because people don't like, um, I already screwed it up. Look at this. Um, that guy's comment rattled me. Go on, like, am I soulless? Am I just going through the motions? Am I just drawing something I've drawn a million times? Am I singing Don't Stop Believing and I'm the band Journey? And this is the 127th stop in a three-year tour? Have I been touring for 30 years, playing the same golden hits at every stop? Maybe you guys are just going through the motions of fans. You, you, this is just convenient for you. You're not really figuring out what you like. This you're just going to your comfort food, your comfort characters. You're not encouraging me to 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 draw in a cubist style. You 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 want to see your favorite characters, whether it's Rom, or uh, Talon, or <laughs> Goku. <laughs> I'm turning on the stream. I have tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the nightly stream after an all day uh, session at a comic con uh, in a hotel. Um, yes. All the neurons are, are basically uh, realigning themselves 
into new patterns, firing off um, random statements and thoughts. People have seen it before. It's a well-known phenomenon. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a... Uh, well, all right, here's a serious thought, and I have thought about this. And it kind of pertains to this whole, like, uh, going through the motions thing. I do think sometimes, like, will there come a point where people are just kind of bored of seeing the same thing? And I say the same thing. It's like, okay, they've seen me draw Batman a lot of times. They've seen me draw Wolverine a lot of times. They've seen me draw all these characters a lot of times. At some point, they'll just go like, you know what? I'm really into seeing this. Uh, when I did Goku, and I don't mean to uh, take Goku's name in vain, um, you know, what's interesting about that is I got a lot of likes for that. You know, uh, I felt like, you know, uh, I was a... F not really. If I had, he's young. He'll 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 pick it up. Congrats to your brother, by the way. I saw I saw that I saw your Instagram post, Clayton. Is that the same brother that came and kind of trolled you in this stream a while ago? <laughs> he's got his denture. This is old man Logan, and he's got the. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll fix it all. Whippersnappers. Whippersnappers? Yeah. I don't know what that means. That's right. But the one thing that drawing Goku and. and Kratos, and uh, it just shows you that there's more to life than just Batman. There's more to life than just uh, superheroes. Um, that there are some very popular characters, and we should show them some, some love. Why not? Because at the end of the day, if you want to grow this stream, and you're on a primarily a gaming platform, gee, it would have been nice in my initial um, business development, my business model, a power deck presentation that I created to launch this that uh, I put in like uh, draw video game characters to draw in people that don't normally read comics. Should have had that in there. That would have been genius. But instead, I wrote uh, eat tacos late at night, hope and pray that people will find that amusing and continue to uh, support the stream with subscriptions. So. Ooh, uh, yeah, I should do that too. I did do those wild characters early on. No, no, not wild characters. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, Overwatch. I've, I've drawn, I've drawn, I have drawn wild characters. I did a bunch of covers and trading cards. Excuse me? Was it Burning Crusade? It might have been. It's been a while. Unless he did it in Rack, too. I, I can't quite remember. No, no, remember in a big way. I, I, I noticed that uh, there were a lot of artists here. Um, there's not a lot of media. You know, like, you, you don't have, like, the whole cast of some show here. And uh, so there's greater representation of comic book artists and the, sh the show was huge. And I think they had like 100,000 people. You know? So it, it bodes well. It bodes well. Those that are elective shows. So by elective, I mean that I choose to go to them. As opposed to like shows like San Diego or New York Comic Con. Which are a big, vital part of our business. You know, where I have to go for business reasons, you know. Um, I mean, I still enjoy going because the Comic-Con was my first real Comic-Con. And, and uh, it's unlike any other show in the world, really. Um, but, I, you know, I, I, I'm there every year, right? And uh, But these other shows, I don't want to over uh, overdo my welcome. No. There was something about, like... Uh, 
I don't know. It, 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 the the naivete of, of certain people, it, it can kind of get to you. That's all I'll say. And, um, you know, I would say as a professional artist, you're definitely drawing at times and on days that you don't want to because you have other stuff or you're just tired or whatever you are. It's Christmas. Uh, I've, I've drawn on Christmas. I've drawn on Thanksgiving. Um, so you might as well just uh, get cut to the chase and see if you have what it takes to just do that and just kind of draw crazily and see if uh, that that will definitely help you get better but also kind of show you whether or kind of test your abilities to um, take on those challenges but I'll tell you also that that approach may be a very dated thing it might be my generation kind of thing not saying that the later generations aren't as uh, hard working like the technology we have now yeah I would have broken into the business a lot sooner and I would have gotten better faster than I did yeah, the way I did it for sure I would have gone online and bugged the crap out of John Byrne and said, like, hey, what's the secret? Why, you know, how do I prevent, you know, my sadness? <laughs> my sadness. No, how do I do this, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, here's a happy shoulder line. Oh, and it's getting a little smelly. It's getting a little smelly. Smellier. Coming back out. Oh, now it's happy again. It's happy. Yeah, it's. No, I say it's dated. This whole notion of working your butt off to achieve your goals is something I talk about a lot. But then I'm like going, do people even want to hear this today? Do they even believe this to be? Can I tell you, if I were a kid today and I was a really good video game player, oh my god. Huh? I said I'm okay. I feel like I could have gone pro. You could have gone pro? Yeah. What I mean, what kid doesn't feel like the they could have gone pro? Though, in Hearthstone, I was um, oh, like yeah, 6% I feel... in the world yeah. for Hearthstone. Yeah, but don't you feel like you have to be 0.1% to go pro? Don't no. you? For League, you can actually get a college internship for Irvine if you reach platinum, which is like 0.8%. Yeah, Daryl was... Uh, Sienna was platinum, wasn't she? I think she was. But you have to be like she was platinum in Korea. That's yeah. hardcore. But I think you have to be platinum NA though. I will say this though. It's not just about... You got a what? What did you say? What? Oh, sorry. True. You have to have a clue? No, true. True, true. Got it. Thank you. It's hard to hear with these headphones on. Too late. By the time you grow up, there will be no such thing. Yeah. I don't know how old you are. Right? That's like me saying I want to create a, an app that allows people uh, to connect with each other and share pictures of their lives and uh, what they're doing today and what they're going to eat and pictures of their cats. and uh, Yeah. <clears throat> Too late. It's been created already. If you're growing up, you got to think about what, you have to be like the people that when you give up, you don't deserve to make it. Yeah, you never, you never wanted it in the first place. That's right, that's right. You didn't want it in the first place. <laughs> that's like when you didn't want to eat your food, Nancy. That's right, that's right. That's when you... I did. And this is, you know, look, I, I'll tell you, this is the hardest part about parenting, is uh, you don't want to, Maybe I shouldn't share this with the kids around. Give them insight to my strategies. Just do it. <laughs> you don't want to give them motivation. You don't want to... Like, it is a proven fact that if you make life too easy for your kids, they will not be successful. True. I would say 95% 90, of the time, uh, if you make it too easy for your kids, they basically grow up to be bums. You aren't my son, or you, you, know, you aren't my kid, or you know... That super super tough love, uh, it's good that blood. it's good up to a certain point. That can't help themselves anyway. It's not like they're going up. I don't know. It 
So uh, taking that and applying it to artists that you meet, I mean, how much... You gotta have some positivity, but it can't be all positive, right? You gotta have some real talk in there, but too much real talk might just, I don't know. <clears throat> I definitely work, got my work ethic from my parents. Um, Jim. But uh, in terms of what I want to do with my life, I did not get from them at all. What? Uh, I was about to just ask that if they agreed with you, you wanted to be an artist. Do they what? I was going to ask you if your parents um, agreed you with you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I said I was going to ask that. No. That's why you guys always have, if we ever say anything like this, you know, it's not something that happens all the time. Well, it happened that it's a problem. You know, it's like, you know, it's 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 flattering, but you can usually tell. Ooh. What? What did you say, Victor? I, I can't. Sorry, I missed. I feel like I'm missing out on some conversation. No, I don't think so. It happens. Probably when you're at cons. Well, I, I, yeah, at cons. <laughs> I find that uh, if there's a long line, look, completely different culture, different time period. So the generational gap and a culture gap. You come to America, put me into American schools. I mean, what do you? I believe Jim Shooter was 13 when he started writing for DC Comics. They, he didn't tell them how old he was, and he was basically sending in scripts to the mail, and he was getting work while he was in high school. I want to say, maybe he was a little bit older, 16, 17. Wait, J. Scott Campbell was 17? J. Scott Campbell was 19 when I hired him. Wow. Yeah. Why? Really I, uh, um, I took him to, well, did a, we did a lot of firsts together, for, for him at least. Um, I don't want to self-incriminate, plead the um, fifth. <clears throat> but um, uh, I think Art Adams was 16 when he broke in. When they hired him to do Long Shot, he might have been 17 or 18 when it actually came out. But he was young. And that kid was, you know, you look back on the stuff, like very, very talented at a young age. Dream job would have been to be a major league baseball player or a rock musician. <laughs> yeah, why not? Hey, if you're saying I could achieve success in anything else, um, what am I going to what am I going to put? Like, huh? Music is different. What do you mean you can't work hard to... Oh my God, do you know how, how long musicians ask? I mean, this is uh, my traveling setup. I have a headphone set on, and uh, which has a little mic on it. So now I feel like, oh, now it sounds better. So maybe I should uh, go back to the headset so that you guys have better audio fidelity. Just drawing uh, Wolverine here. In case you haven't noticed who this character is. <laughs> you want anything, Jim? Oh, yeah, hold on. Room service. Look at this menu here. Uh, oh, here, I'll, I know what I'll do. And look what I want. Uh, a little trick than I thought. <laughs> Kid meal? Wait, dessert? I don't want dessert for sure. Uh, children's menu. I'm thinking. 
P, P, and J. I'm very particular about it. What? <laughs> I'm looking at chicken fingers. Mm, grilled steak. Kid spaghetti. What do I want? I, I do know I want something. Five dollars for lemonade? Were they crazy? <laughs> Six dollars for chocolate milk. What? <laughs> Dude, let's get Uber and go to Seven Eleven. We can get this for a fraction of the price. Um, hmm. Children's menu. Children's menu. I don't know what I want to do. Oops. Okay, you know what? Jerry Ordway broke in later, late 30s. Uh, I thought I had read that somewhere. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, if you Google that stuff, you can find it. Right. Is it oh, Fort Minor, my friend Mike Shinoda. All right. I knew that. I'm sure I did. I don't know. No, look, inking. I'm, drink I'm inking hair. Um, now I'm scrolling and reading chat and inking here. 5% pleasure, though. Uh, remember the name. Got it. Got it. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I will download that. Well, I won't download that song. I'll listen to it on Spotify. Happy now? Okay. Old oh, Man Lee. Yeah, let's get to the point. I was telling my kids, like, hey, I've got this family membership on iTunes. You guys can share it with me. And they're like, they look at me like I was speaking a foreign language. They're like, no one uses iTunes. What are you nuts? And I'm like, everyone uses Spotify. Everyone uses Spotify. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, there's pride in ownership, dude. My my music defines me. Look, <laughs> there's another phrase that no one uses ever, even back when it was. Hey, Kirihiko. Kirihiko in the house. Good morning, Kirihiko. Uh, I should Postmates Taco Bell. Let's see, what else are people saying here? The kids' menu is the bomb. <laughs> oh, boy. My, tell me if I'm inking something I shouldn't be inking. I'm just doing little bits of parallel lines. All right. Don't forget my milk. Uh, I'm a little lactose intolerant. Not really, but they say Asians are, and uh, it's bad, like the cholesterol or something like that. Jerry Ordway from Law and Order? No. Uh, yeah, there's no Postmates here, Jim. Just no Postmates on Law and Order? Yeah, let's see. I wouldn't say that I'm friends. With, I'm friendly with Mike Shinoda. You have to be careful, you know. Uh, how do you define friend? I mean, it's. I think I'm friends with Joe Hahn, and I've met Mike several times through. Joe and Mike is a, is a really nice guy. He's a great guy. Also a comic book fan. Uh, also a former art student. Super nice guy. Very talented too. Uh, Kirihiko, run away while you still can, says Spider Man 1963. Kirihiko is the bravest mod of the bunch. Let me just tell you that uh, <laughs> you're not a mod you're a family member yeah. crispy is a, f a mod <laughs> crispy is insert exclamation point who is crispy hash oh yeah exclamation point who is crispy that's no 
I think a bunch of us are going to go uh, see this Frank Miller signing at uh, Torpedo Comics. If any of you, this is a, a bit of a side, if any of you guys are planning on going to Torpedo Comics at the end of June, uh, I think PK, Poop Kid, Ren, and uh, Crispy and myself, we're going to be there uh, just roasting each other live in person. <laughs> Lincoln Park was a big part of my 2003 overseas experience. And so I'll explain. Um, he dishes out as good as he gets. I feel sufficiently warmed up. I should just stop doing this. But you've already gone so far in. Yeah, it was uh, pretty heart-wrenching when Chester passed away. But when I went to Italy in 2003, traveled very light. I think this is just the start of iTunes, so there wasn't um, a way to just sort of take your music library with you unless you created, created playlists. And brought, I, I brought three CDs with me. That's it. And I lived off three music CDs or three compact discs for many, many months until uh, I started buying music in Italy. Uh, and those albums were Hybrid Theory, Lincoln Park, Toxicity by System of a Down. And the last one was uh, Mitch Hedberg, I forgot the uh, performs. And I, I basically listened to those over and over again as I worked. And then eventually I got consumed with trying to learn Italian. So I didn't listen to more music um, by buying compact discs. I, iTunes kind of uh, came into the scene and I just started downloading music uh, and then buying movies, Italian movies, so I can watch the ones, uh, my favorite movies in Italian, so I watched Wrath of Khan in Italian over and over and over again, as I drew, and because I kind of, I knew what was on the screen, I just listened to the translation, and the translations are different a lot of times from what you think they are, the way they translate it, it's not exactly, anyway. It's a big partisan fighting song, so um, I memorized that song. Bella Ciao, Bella Ciao. I can't remember the words. It's been 15 years. Fifth? What, read, read, read chat and draw? Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's mainly just me. I have no idea. I think it, it. I think it means like. Um, I think it's like. It's like. Um, it's like the. Uh, the combo number. All right. Io vado tu vai, lui va. Noi andiamo. I hope I'm doing this right. Yeah. Why do blisters happen? I have a blister too. I have two. A small one and a big one. You know what? Maybe maybe my work was uh, very influential for Capcom versus Marvel. I don't know. Times I do realize that actually, you know, the physiques were very balloony. Um, so I look at like you look at like Cyclops on. Um, so you know you're you're blind to your own kind of style sometimes. I look at Cyclops and the way he's drawn on the new X Men number one that gave full cover silhouette. I can hide the silhouette. I noticed it even on Batman Hush. I was like, uh, and if you pull out those two covers and, and compare the two, you'll see that Superman's a lot more. I mean, it's like the guy uh, definitely didn't miss chest arm day, whatever. Um, <laughs> or superhuman physique. I, you just can't see it. That's just the time. Look, I, I drew very long, like, thighs. 
Uh, some of that stuff is hard for me to look at. And so it's always odd when people go like, all right, that was your best stuff. I keep that from every era of work. So that's, that's why I kind of, if I make a face when people ask me at a panel like, hey, uh, what's your favorite thing you've drawn? It's, because, it's usually because when I look back on the stuff I've drawn in the past, I, I see the mistakes. I don't see like what you guys see. I don't see what maybe imprinted a 15-year-old and, and made him fall in love with X-Men. And uh, so I hope to um, participate into, into that stream or that part of Discord. So if you guys are aspiring artists and want to get feedback on your art, um, we'll, we'll make that happen. And the other thing I want to put on Discord is um, some art of mine that I probably won't put on Facebook. Let's pop in some shadows here. What? Everyone's cog champion Wolverine. Mm-hmm. Kind of like leaving that white there. Kind of turned out kind of cool. some ink here. And uh, kind of instantly adds some atmosphere. If you kind of know what you want to do with it, I guess. So with this, kind of want to, kind of want to 
do a diagonal kind of thing. As you can see from my labored breathing, you do have to kind of apply a little bit of physical force with it to kind of get the smudge effect that you want. So we're going to do, uh, per Max's request, we'll do the um, the Cloud Strife as a silent auction. The, the mods will give you information on this, how to do that. Just kind of whisper me uh, kind of your best bid um, privately. Just write down, I guess, Cloud Strife away, and I'll just do very quick headshot which will be a giveaway for everyone in stream right after I do this I want to thank uh, the continued support of this stream I'd like to give them well let's be honest I'd like to give Crispy a hard time but uh, and Ren <laughs> Ren takes it uh, the, the roasting um, he takes it to heart he's like no 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 I'm, I, I, I See, I'm doing it again. I'll stop. Ren's an awesome guy. So um, then we have uh, Crispy and uh, Kate and um, all the regulars that came in. We had a pretty full house, I think, for a Sunday stream. Uh, Luke and I were talking about it. Actually, East Coast is actually where I should live to stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move... So I can stream better from, cause uh, I can usually stream like late, like ten, eleven o'clock at night. That's like seven or eight in the East Coast, and it's like when people in in Europe are waking up. It's pretty ideal. It's hard for me to stream at seven or eight Sunday night. Um, in LA. So, what does that mean? Uh, well, it means that. Uh, this Wolverine hopefully will go to a nice lovely home in a little bit excuse me if you're a sub 25 uh, subscriber uh, I will ask we will take the uh, we're not gonna do it now but we will take the stream into uh, what's it called um, emote only you would type in that way only people that are the sub-25 can type something in. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, what happens is the chat bats, B-A-T-S, and this Batman head shows up. And uh, that would be the key word. So that means that anyone that isn't a sub-25 can't type those words in, can't type that emote in. And so uh, it's, it's our kind of cheat of trying to get at people that only sub at the 25 level. All right, but before we do that, now we'll, so we'll do that one first. Uh, people can go ahead and send their um, their silent bids in for the uh, cloud strife. And uh, for a quick headshot of some character. And that will go to someone in chat of any sub or non-sub category. It's just really kind of my way of thanking people for tuning in and... Uh, putting up with all the silly nonsense that goes into all these streams. So, that one didn't turn out so bad. <laughs> 